Okay, now it's time to cut our lengths of brass rod. Um, we want them cut to about 9mm, um, just a bit shy of, of 1cm. So mark about 9mm there on your brass rod and then cut two snip oh, well, two lengths of about 9mm. So we've got that there, we'll get our trusty cutters. One length. And just trim that off. And our second length. There we go. That should give us our two pins we need upon which the lever will rest. Okay, now those two pins will go into those holes I talked about just previously. One will go in here and the next pin will go in here. That's Okay, once you've super glued in those support rods, um, best to test fit the unit to make sure that you have enough clearance that they don't catch. Remember the unit, they're the rods we've super glued in, these brass rods there and there. Uh, the gimbal now fits back in there, so just double check that, um, there we go, it's not catching with anything, so those rods are in good position. Okay, now it's time to uh, reassemble the unit. But before we reassemble the unit, uh, we forgot to add, well, I forgot, we need to add this catch piece in. Now this little catch piece goes into this fitting, well, this space here, okay? So we need to get a hold of a two millimeter M2 screw. We fit our catch piece in. It's a bit tricky. We'll go in like so, and then we simply screw it into position with our M2 screw. There we go. There we go. So that's where this piece goes in. Fits into that little bracket in there uh, and the M2 screw. If for some reason you have difficulty finding an M2 screw, one of these support rods, uh, you can remove this screw from here for this support rod because we're not using the ratcheting part on this assembly. You can take the screw from there to use it to attach your catch piece. So we have to remember to attach that catch piece um, nice and firm uh, before we assemble the unit. So we've got our piece, that piece goes in there like so, all good. Now this little piece here goes back on here, uh, goes this way around. Okay, once you have this part attached, it's time to reattach our potentiometer. It goes in this orientation there we go. That pops in there like that. Now our little catch clip. Place this there. You have a look at the catch clip. There's a this little circle here is raised. That is towards the inside. So we'll just it's a little bit tricky like it was to get out. So there, just done a quick edit of the video. Um, got this piece fitted in correctly now. Uh, as I said, the small raised bit, I don't know if you can pick that up on the video, that is towards the inside. Um, once you've got it in there you just slide that back down to lock the potentiometer in place. Okay, so on to the final stages now of the self-centering. <music> 